Welcome to another episode of Profile. Today we'll be looking at the Maleco heavy industry Richter Megawave. Modeled in the sound tradition of the Wired 300 series, but for your rack. The Megawave can be best described as a selectable wavetable device. While it does not function as an oscillator, it can be used as a complex LFO, stage quantizer, random function generator, audio wave shaper, and also as a nonlinear waveform distortion unit. It has 10 separate ROMs, 16 banks per ROM, 16 waves per bank, for a total of 256 waveforms available per ROM. Multiply 256 by 10 ROMs and you have a total waveform count of 2,560. Now more about the ROMs. Banks 1 and 2 are from Grant Richter, which comprise the mini wave and socket rocket banks. Bank 3 contains PPG slash VS waves. Bank 4 contains waves from Darwin Gross. This bank is titled the Darwin's House Bank that incidentally is one of the first ever wavetables. Bank 5 is the Mono Wave wavetable bank from Paul Maddox. Banks 6 through 9 are from Matthew Davidson and include the Bosch Gardens, Morphine, and Vector 1 and 2 banks. The last bank over on the far right, number 10, is a scale quantizer bank, also designed by Matthew Davidson, with a wide variety of musical scales. Now for a deeper look at the front panel. On the top left is your input-output range selector for switching between 0 to 10 volts for audio or plus or minus 5 volt input for low frequency signals. On the far right is the input wave type selector for ascending or descending. This allows the mega wave to pair with oscillators that have either ascending or descending sawtooth waves. Immediately below that, we have our ROM bank LEDs all the way across here. And if I move my ROM control, you can see that each one changes to a different color. These allow for monitoring your banks via colored LED and each has a nice little abbreviation for the individual ROMs. Below that is the wave indicator LEDs right there, which numerically tells us the wave and the bank. There are three controls for manually adjusting waves, banks, or ROMs over here on the right. In addition, each of these controls have CV inputs straight down here that allow you to control these with incoming CV. Each of the CV inputs also has its own attenuator going across the center here. At the bottom left is the input offset attenuator. To the right of that, you have your wave shaper input and output jacks right there. Lastly, on the far right is our input gain attenuator, which ensures accurate quantizer tracking for low frequency signals and audio level for audio rate. This has been a profile on the Richter Megawave. Thanks for watching.